Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to get into uh, changing the ignition timing like the videos before I talked about with math. Okay, now I'm going to advance the ignition timing on this MS660 because I want to bring, obviously, you know, if you raise your exhaust roof, you actually shorten the power stroke inside the engine. So, theoretically, by advancing the ignition timing, I'm going to lengthen the power stroke, you know, to a point, obviously, okay? I was going to do machine work, but I said, you know what? I'm going to try a shortcut here, okay? Now, this line here, if you see that, that was stock, and then down at the end of this magnet here, that's roughly one and a half degrees, I figured out. Okay, means I filed six and a half thousandths off my keyway. Okay, I already measured all this, did the math. Okay, want me to go over it? I will maybe put it down in the comments, but you see my previous videos. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, let's measure it here 58 thousandths. Okay, pretty good. So obviously you set your timing wheel up, get yourself a top dead center. See end of right up there. Hard to do with that magnet pulling on your hand, but. Yeah, it's about one and a half degrees, okay? Now, if I don't like that, if it's kicking back too much, I got the stock key right here. Just pop it right back in there, ready to rip. reason why I want to baby step this is because you need to be careful. If you don't push the decomp in on this, it'll kick back on you. I had this one almost blow the recoil out. Push them bars in. I was going to try to... JB Weldon, eh, junk. I got a, a new one. Like, if you see this, looks like them bars are a little thicker on this. So they upgraded this housing. Farmer tech, but uh, seems pretty good. I haven't had any problems. So that'd be kind of interesting there. This is an 066 cylinder. It's a spare one of these. I waited for a while for this thing. to get. If I can get it out of the bag. Okay. Yeah, see them transfers are pointed up like that. That's going to give you your torque. How the transfers are slanted back like this. Okay. That's going to give you give you your torque. See that? Yep. Not like a former tech. Now this, uh, let's get it out of here. This cylinder, highway tight nickel. Okay. See how them transfers are like not really slanted back, just clean up right over the piston. You're losing power. This thing wasn't really impressive at all. I mean, it had good RPM, but once you dogged it in, it would stall. I was like, man, that's garbage. So, yep. So the, these are pretty decent. Now, the bad thing about these cylinders here, you got to be careful working with them because they're like a highway almost. The plating can chip. So, nice port. Intake, where all these ports are pretty, that's a pretty nice cylinder here. I'm keeping this as a spare for this. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I want to never time this, but, uh, yep. But, uh, yeah, maybe the future of the channel here when I'm 
going to be doing eventually. I eventually want to get into building these farmer these kit saws and try to sell them. You know, try to make them good, reliable saws. There's, I know there's a people have opinions about them, but uh, I've worked through the problems on. There's a lot of little different things you got to do. A little different. Once you figure all that out, you got a good. Long as you have a good set of cases, you have a good crank. You can build your saw up from there and have a good saw. I put a fair amount of time on this saw and it seems pretty pretty reliable. And uh, that's why I didn't want to tear the cylinder down because uh, this thing, I didn't run it for about three, four weeks. Pulled it out and fired up on the first pull. I'm like, man, I'll tell you what. Pretty good uh, saw. So, uh, yeah, I just want to show you that there. Okay, guys, the next time, keep feeling the heat.